And moving on, day 151 of the war in Gaza and no signs of the war pausing ahead of the Ramadan holiday despite ongoing efforts of mediators to reach a deal to free the hostages. There are, however, Israeli efforts to deliver aid directly to the civilians and keep it out of the hands of Hamas. Meanwhile, the IDF has destroyed one of the largest tunnels found in northern Gaza since the start of the war at nearly four kilometers long. More on this report from ILTV's Steve Leibovitz. The IDF said that in recent days it has been handing out food packages to Palestinians evacuated from the Khan Yunus area amid the ongoing military operation. The packages ahead of the Ramadan holiday include basic food products such as flour, wheat, oil, sugar, tea and dates, as well as a greeting card with a Quranic verse. Israel is making efforts to increase access to humanitarian aid for civilians in North Gaza after dozens were reportedly killed as they swarmed aid trucks in Gaza City last Thursday. IDF officials said the move is aimed at driving a wedge between the civilian population and Hamas. Elsewhere in Gaza, the IDF is continuing to confront Hamas terror cells. The IDF said it successfully struck and killed a group of Palestinian Islamic Jihad terrorists who fired rockets at Be'eri and Chatzirim a day earlier. The Nachal Brigade spotted the cell responsible for the attack shortly after it occurred and directed an airstrike against them. In total, the Nachal Brigade said it killed 15 gunmen in central Gaza with sniper fire tank shelling, and by calling in airstrikes. Elsewhere in Gaza, the IDF said the 98th Division encircled a complex in Khan Yunus Hamad neighborhood and were carrying out raids in the area where many Hamas operatives fled after losing battles in other places in Khan Yunus. Some 40 Hamas operatives were killed by troops in the Hamad town area over the past day. The IDF has also been carrying out an extensive wave of airstrikes in the Rafah area, including near the Philadelphia corridor along Gaza's border with Egypt. The strikes targeted what the IDF assessed to be Hamas underground infrastructure located beneath the corridor separating Egypt and Gaza. As the war continues, so do talks in Cairo. Qatari and Egyptian mediators have reported some progress toward a truce in Gaza. Israel is not taking part in the talks amid concerns that Hamas leader Yechia Sinwar is purposely blocking a hostage for pause and fighting deal in order to further destabilize the region during Ramadan.